Fijaos, chicos. Shooting with motion capture actors was awesome for us because we shot the movie 100% on location in New York City. I was always imagining on the first film what Raph maybe looked like or felt like in a scene, and seeing it come to life, it's like, holy cow, it really is just... It's amazing. ¿Qué sois? ¿Superhéroes? <laughs> All that mocap gear has really become a second skin, you know, at this point, which I think the, is the beauty of being able to come back and being able to jump back into the story. Esto debe de ser lo que han ido a buscar a Brasil. Es el abre portal interdimensionalizador. That technology added to the fidelity of the actors' performances. Soy una triple amenaza, cerebro, fuerza y evidentemente una personalidad deslumbrante. It's one thing to kind of see pictures of the turtles. It's a completely different experience to watch your performance, your facial movements, all, all of this stuff because it's so detailed. Si pudiéramos conseguir más sustancia de esta, nos cambiaría la vida. I know that if I raise my eyebrows, that that's going to be a great look on Donatello. Or I know if I've got my mouth hanging wide open or make this kind of a face, it's going to look weird on the CG turtle. It's kind of a, a fine line between what you're feeling as an actor and what's going to transfer well onto that CG face. En este plan yo estoy al mando. ¿Es así, Mikey? Así es. I stopped seeing the mocap suits like two days into the first movie because their personalities shine through so strongly that I I don't see like the weird cameras on their head. Our performances have to hold up next to those live actors. So when April or Casey Jones are, are standing there talking, our turtles have to feel as real and as alive. Sí, 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 sí. Ah! No va un poquito rápido? Ah! Ah! Ah!